All right, welcome everybody to our webinar. We're gonna get started in just a few seconds. I wanna give everybody time to get loaded into our webinar room here and get settled. So sit tight, don't go anywhere. Uh, we have a few technical checks on our end, but we'll be ready to go in just a moment. Uh, we're scheduled to run for about 45 minutes today. Um, the presentation is going to be recorded on top of that, uh, so you'll get a copy a bit later on as well. You can feel free to say hi in the chat that should be appearing at the bottom of your screen. Um, don't be shy, say hello, let us know where you're tuning in from. It's always nice to see where people are, are located. And it looks like people are getting loaded in here. So why don't we go ahead uh, and get started. So let me welcome everybody to our webinar on advanced career pages. Really excited to have you all here today. We have an amazing presentation for you. Uh, your careers page is often serving as your candidate's first impression of what it's like to work at your company. Uh, they may know about your product or your service, uh, but they don't know what it's like to be an employee there. Um, owning the design of that page and the branding and the applicant experience doesn't have to be scary. Uh, today, we want to share with you some ideas and show you some tools we've built to help with all of that. So... Uh, by way of introduction, I'm Nick and I'll be your host uh, for today. I work on the customer education team at Workable, which means that I know a ton about using Workable to do things like create effective job ads and engage candidates with video interviews and build out things like career pages. Um, and I'm thrilled to be joined today by a Workable customer. Uh, Lisa Khan is with us. She's uh, the recruitment manager at Weedabix and she's going to walk us through uh, some tips and tricks for getting a career page into shape. Uh, so Lisa, I'll, I'll hand it over to you. Why don't you go ahead, uh, please introduce yourself. Yeah, hi everyone. Uh, apologies, my camera is not on. I've been having some connection issues today. Um, but yeah, I'm Lisa, uh, as Nick said, recruitment manager at Weetabix. Um, and we are actually in the process of uh, setting our workable careers page up. So I hope to be able to share some useful information with you today. So I'm really glad to have you here. Um, today's agenda, we've broken up into four parts. So we'll start out and talk a little bit about the must haves for a fantastic careers page. Let's say if you're starting from a blank sheet of paper and jotting down ideas, what are the things that you write down first for your, your must haves? Uh, we'll move on and talk about some extra ways to make your career page stand out and really take it to the next level and leave an impression with candidates. Uh, from there, we're going to look at Workable's uh, new advanced career page tool, which is currently in beta. Uh, we'll guide you through some of the design options and setup options that you can look forward to with that um, tool. And for part four, we're going to do a live Q&A. So please feel free to submit questions at any time during this presentation. We've got a wonderful team of moderators to help you out. Uh, during that Q&A portion, we'll try and pick out maybe some of the most common questions that are, are coming through to talk through. Uh, about them live. Um, and just before we jump into part one here, we'll send out a, just a quick poll. I'd like to get an idea of where everybody stands right now uh, with their career page. It's kind of just a gut check. You don't need to think about it too much. What's your first reaction to this question? Um, do you have a career page at all? Is it something where you're really only just advertising open roles, but not talking too much about um, what the organization is like. Um, do you have a page that you really love? Um, so let us know in that poll and the results should pop up for you in a moment. So let's take a look here at the results. A lot of people mostly using their career page for only um, open roles, maybe not doing too much branding right now. Uh, and then a, a good chunk of people too, with a fairly robust page, but looking to make maybe a few improvements there. Interesting results. 
Um, Lisa, does anything stand out to you there uh, about how people have answered? Does it surprise you? Yeah, I think it surprises me that so many only feature open roles. For sure, yeah. Um, and we'll look at a few ways that you can kind of, let's say like amp things up or, or do a little bit more um, to enhance what you're doing on, on that front. So as we get into our first part here, um, Lisa, I know you'll have a lot of insight, like as you mentioned, you're getting ready to launch a new page that you built with our advanced career page tool. Mm -hmm. So uh, I guess my first question for you here would be, um, what led you to use the advanced career page editor? Gosh, uh, so our, if you hop onto the Weetabix careers page as it currently stands, um, it's quite what I would describe as old fashioned. Um, in terms of the look and the feel. And I think for me, the reason why I wanted to change is it's not, it, you know, the back end of the website is quite difficult to update when I want to update it. Um, and uh, is, is virtually impossible for me to do. Uh, I'm not a developer or, you know, website programmer. Um, and I think one of the things that I really didn't like about our existing careers page is that when candidates land on that page, to learn about our values or more about us or open jobs, you know, our stories, they've, they've got to navigate through multiple different links. Um, and, and my view is that when a candidate lands on your page, it should be a continuous scroll with interesting information uh, that then leads to the, you know, either a link to the job, to the job section or where it's a continuous scroll where you don't lose them in that journey of them multiple pages. So I think those were the key things for me. Yeah, absolutely. I think that the your your point about um, not necessarily wanting to go through a web developer to make you know these these types of changes or updates over time um, probably relatable to to most of the people here of you know needing to to get in touch with that team and get development resources and time set aside uh, maybe even for like a little change that you want to make can be um, I think kind of a headache for for people sometimes, yep. right? Yeah. Um, so, so from there, with, with those sort of goals or, or problems that you were looking to solve, how did you then approach building out your, your new page? How have I approached in terms of the content that I'm putting in? Yeah, uh, exactly. So, uh, aside from the jobs, which will automatically link in there from Workable anyway, um, we've kind of, you know, looked at... at taking elements of our existing website, you know, so our about us, for example, um, you know, that remains the same, but I think uh, how I've gone about developing it to make it more interactive and to make it more fun and more visually appealing and more engaging for candidates who, who will land on the page is adding in video content, um, you know, career stories. Some of those are a picture and a career story. Some of those are actually, you know, a video. Um, someone talking, you know, a short video about their, their career with us. Uh, there's a section in there which emphasizes our values um, because I don't think that was clear. And I think it's really important when somebody joins a business that they're aligned to your values. Um, you know, functions, talk more about the functions and, and what each function does. I don't think that's, you know, to somebody who might be new to the business or coming into, you know, in an entry level role, it, it, they may not have a really good understanding what each function does. Um, gosh, what else have I put in there? Lots and lots, there's, there's lots and lots that I've put in there. Um, but I think for me, the most important thing is, you know, going back to what I said before, it's been able to go in on a weekly basis and update that with relevant engaging content. And, you know, more importantly as well, to mirror what we're doing on LinkedIn and what we're doing on our Facebook and, you know, what we're doing on Instagram and, and those other social media platforms, it really should be one and the same you know a candidate shouldn't have a different journey dependent on which platform they land on and at the moment with our existing website that is the case cool so it sounds like at least for some of the components that you were kind of collecting and adding in you you maybe had them on different pages but they weren't all in that one yes. main resource so so it sounds like part of the process was maybe like combining that all together into that to that one source of truth yes absolutely yeah, yeah. Um, was there anything from maybe the, those resources that you were collecting or anything that you specifically wanted to change as part of this update? Yeah, so I think more we've, we've looked at the content. Uh, I think our 
existing careers website is is limiting in terms of the functionality of what we're able to do and i think the workable career site is great because you can have your text sections your images you know your videos there's so much that you can do with it um so we, we you know i have looked into what content could we build in addition to what we've already got um and we are do, going to do that you know with more regular new starter stories um and also engaging content with national awareness days which is you know something we're going to do next month with national engineering day so i do think it's given us a better opportunity to build current content which will be appealing but more importantly which i can click a button and i can upload it myself um, rather than uh, break the careers website, which I ha actually have done on a number of occasions. I, I hate to admit I've changed something and I've put everything down completely. Um, I've completely broken it. Um, in terms, yeah, I think what, what stands out to me there is, you know, your point about like, oh, we want to highlight these, these national awareness days, right? Or we want to do these more frequent updates on the page, I think. Mm -hmm you know, that type of thing, coming back to your point about, you know, I don't necessarily want a developer to make these change that changes that are, are, you know, sort of simple to make, but, but very meaningful to that candidate experience to keep them engaged, mm -hmm. to show that you're, you know, you're staying up to date with what you're communicating to them, that you're, you know, yeah. you're, you're with current events, you know, things like, you know, what comes to mind is a big thing, especially for this year, a lot of companies moving remotely or, or changing their yeah. work from home policy um you know something like that happens you want to communicate that to your yeah. prospective candidates of, of how you're supporting them through through these yeah times. yeah absolutely um so so i guess going off all that if you could kind of summarize what do you what do you really think are the must-haves for anybody out there who's maybe building a career page from scratch or thinking about doing some redesign yeah. what are the, those must-haves i think the must-haves are you know talking <clears throat> talking to current employees and, and getting that, you know, kind of those career stories on there is great because I think for me personally, I've been talking to our current employees because I want our employer brand, you know, in the external market to reflect what we're actually doing. And I think that's really important, you know, to give candidates a feel of what it's like to work at Weetabix. Uh, and I don't always think, you know, an about us does that enough. So I think that's really, really important. Get it from an employee's perspective at all levels of business, you know, what it's really like to work at Weetabix, what a day in the life was, it is in this particular role, you know, what are the challenging things, you know, what, what are the most exciting things, what, even what are things they don't enjoy so much. Um, I also feel for me personally, the values are very important. So at Weetabix, you know, our uh, quarterly reviews and our annual appraisals are based on our values. So if somebody isn't aligned to your values to begin with, you know, you're almost setting them up to fail. They, they don't really know, you know, what's, you know, what's your um, kind of message as a business. I think that's something that is missing off a lot of career sites and is currently missing off our, our current one. Um, I think that's very, very important. It's really anything that you can build, anything you can put on there, which you would be able to look at as a prospective employee and really get a feel of what it's like to to work at that business. Yeah, absolutely. And I think, you know, your point about those sort of user, uh, not user, uh, but employee testimonials, or um, even explaining a little bit more about how your teams are structured, right? I think you had mentioned that too, um, can be really important mm -hmm. to to those prospective candidates that when traffic coming in that you want to convert into an application. Um, yeah, you know, co companies, you know, have all this diversity in terms of how they structure departments and what mm -hmm. different teams will accomplish and a candidate might be coming in with certain impressions, mm -hmm. but you want to set them up to understand how, how you work. Yeah. And, and I think for me, you know, the most important message is that you've got one chance to attract that brilliant candidate that you want to come and work for you. And that is going to be your career site. And, you know, you might be able to engage with them further down the line by having a conversation and talking about how great your business is. But if that's not showing on your career site, you're likely never to speak to that candidate ever. Um, you know, that's your one opportunity to stand out and, you know, really, you know, put your offering out there and really engage with, with your audience. Yeah, absolutely. Like it needs to make that really great first impression. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. 
Um, so if we uh, kind of move on a little bit and maybe think about some, some extra out of the box ideas or uh, other creative things you can do to tell more about your, your brand and your story, um, what's jumped out to you as, as some elements there that you've, you've taken to, into account in redesigning your page? Yeah, so I think going back to the stories, that, that's really, really important. Um, and when I've looked at a lot of other career sites, they don't have, you know, kind of the, they have stories or they might have, you know, testimonials, but they're not really engaging. And we've recently moved into doing, you know, on LinkedIn now, we've got videos, we've got employees actually talking, you know, quite relaxed at home, talking about their life at Weetabix. Um and I think that's, you know, that really resonates with people and looking at the stats from LinkedIn alone, you know, the level of engagement and the click throughs and, and, you know, the comments and shares and, you know, that that has been, uh, you know, a real winner for us um, to kind of, you know, engage with our audience more and grow our following and, and, you know, really to give people, I would hope, a good understanding of what it's like to work for us in a particular role. Um, I don't think a lot of businesses do that right now. Um, I don't think they go out there regularly with, you know, video content or particular stories to reach out to, to attract talent. And what I try to do where possible is be strategic with that. So if I know that I've got a needing engineering, for example, I will go out there pre that need with somebody from, you know, a, a video um, or get some really engaging content out there about what our engineering teams have been doing. Um, you know, we've been talking about COVID a lot uh, at the moment, that is all on LinkedIn, but it will go onto our careers platform as well. Yeah, that's, a, that's a really cool approach, I think, like thinking through more about not only just the components and the experience like on the careers page, but also how you're sharing that and getting that out there to people. Um, you know, especially sharing that type of video content and tapping into your coworkers, LinkedIn networks, mm -hmm. where, you know, your engineers, no other engineers, um, kind of getting ahead of the game there and, and showing what it's like um, yeah. to work there. Yeah, it sounds really compelling. And I think, as, as you're saying, it sounds like that's really paying off in your, in yes. your metrics too, right? You're seeing those results kind of come in and the engagement with that, that type yeah. of prospective candidate content. Yeah, absolutely. So why don't we go ahead and actually take a look at um, Workable's new career page builder. Um, this is in beta right now. So what you're about to see is going to change and update. We have some uh, new features planned and there are gonna be some tweaks and things coming through for this. Um, what we've built uh, for you to use is a tool that can help uh, highlight your brand with customizable sections. So uh, Lisa, as you've been saying, you know, we've, we've really built this uh, with that idea in mind that you don't necessarily want a web developer for every change that you're going to make, right? So that you can customize it a little bit more on the fly so you can respond to things and you can make those updates uh, when you need to on your timeline. Um, so I think we'll jump over here to take a look at the editor next. Uh, let me see if I can get my screen shared for everybody. Give me one second here. And just one moment, sorry folks, bear with me for just a second. through in a moment.
let's see about that. Did that come through? Great, okay. My apologies for the, the technical issue there. I think we're good to go now. Hopefully everybody should be seeing my screen and my window. Uh, so why don't we get uh, into the editor here a little bit uh, and rolling through some of the, the changes and updates and things that you can use with our, our tool here. So we are in Workable's advanced career page editor right now. Uh, the page hasn't been really built out yet. It looks a little plain for me uh, at the start here. Um, the editor tool that we're looking at here is a WYSIWYG editor. So that means what you see is what you get. Um, we've built out this, uh, this editor so that it's got different sections that you can customize and, and build on top of. So we've got like a header section on our page. We've got this paragraph section of a little bit about us. We've got a job section as well. Uh, there are tons of different sections that you can add in when you're designing your page. Things for testimonials and department info, uh, videos, benefits, um, lots of different sort of templates that you'll build off of as you're designing your page, uh, which you can insert wherever you want to. Uh, to start out, to give you a little bit of a look at how you might approach, you know, beginning making those first updates on the page, uh, the header section is a good place to start where you can uh, choose some of the design elements that will flow through the rest of your page. Uh, I'll just click in here to start doing a little bit of editing. Maybe I don't like this phrase, careers ad. Maybe you want to say uh, work with us at Stark or something like that. Put that on two lines if I want. I can edit this header section as well with this button in the right to add a little bit more detail or maybe some images here. Uh, maybe I've got a company logo that I, I want to include at the top of the page. And I can add a button that will take people right to my open jobs if I want them to scroll down. There are extra options in here for changing things like the background so that you can have your brand colors coming through. Um, here we've got sort of a plain white background, but maybe for our company, we've got maybe more of an orange. See if I can find that. There we go. An orange brand color that I want to use. Um, the, the solid background color, you know, a little bit plain, but it will scale really well on mobile and will always look nice. Um, when you're choosing colors on your page, when you're thinking about your, your fonts and um, the styling, you want to aim to have contrast. So right here with this orange background and our orange logo, there's not great contrast there. Um, it's blending in a little bit too much. We'd probably want to pick a different color. Um, in our case here, I actually have a photo that I want to upload as my background. So let me drag and drop that right in. And we'll get that uploaded. But you can see here again, I'm running into that issue with contrast. So um, especially if you don't have much of a design background, but you're looking to implement some of these things or, or build out your page a little bit more on your own, um, really aim for having that contrast. You know, you want your text to be very readable and to pop out. Um, in my case here, let me change the font color. I'm going to use a lighter text color that I've set. So now we've got that white really popping out on the, the darker opaque background. Um, when you are looking to adjust more of the styling of the page, we've also got this styles tab right up top where you can jump in and again, start applying a little bit more of your brand color or design. So in our case here for Stark Industries, uh, we have some brand colors that I've gotten from our marketing team that we probably want to be showing on this page. So let me pull those in now. We're going to go with that more orange style for our buttons, our icons, and our links. And for our lighter text colors that are going to appear on dark backgrounds, let's see if I can get that over and paste it in. There we go. We're going to go with that kind of a little bit more faded orange there. So this style section is going to handle things for the entirety of my page. So we can kind of be that one and done setup where maybe I'll adjust the font size a little bit depending on what I want to work with or change the fonts up 
for my headings and my descriptions. I can make some adjustments there too. Uh, the last thing I'll do with this header as an extra design tip, the subject of our photo is sort of in the center and to the right and we've got text over it, which I don't necessarily want. I want people to be able to see this nice photo we've taken. Uh, so I'll move that text over to the left. So a couple of key tips there, you know, keep an eye out for contrast on your page um, and be sure that your images, you know, have the room that they need to, to be seen. So I've got my header here and I can continue building out my page as needed. Um, we've got this about section. I could add in something maybe for, let's see here, maybe a benefit section. So now this new modular area is gonna appear and I can write in a header for it if I wanna include that. Maybe I'll call this perks instead of benefits specifically. And let's say that we offer something like a gym membership uh, where we give some reimbursement or we offer a certain amount of PTO and healthcare options as well. Um, We've built sort of the base level for each of these sections for you to then go in and create a little bit more and define a lot of what you wanna be sharing. So we have things like pre-designed icons that you can pull in. So if when I'm highlighting my perks, I wanna say that the gym membership will do like the barbell there for that as an icon to stand out and, and pop a little bit more. Uh, maybe our calendar for PTO here. And then for healthcare, maybe uh, the stethoscope, we could pull that in too. Uh, we've designed a bunch of different icons like this and we've done them in different styles so that you can find one that's gonna match the best with uh, your branding or other design components that you have. Um, I like this last one a lot. It's sort of a hand-drawn sketched, like kind of penciled drawing. So we'll go with that one. Um, and again, from here, I, I can edit more of what's going on in the background for this section too. So maybe I don't even want a heading. I can get rid of that or add it back in. I can get rid of my description. Um, I don't even necessarily need to write out these description paragraphs if there's just sort of something fundamental that I wanna be highlighting here. And so Lisa, like you had mentioned, um, the values component, the values of the company are, are really critical for you to get across in a page like this. And you know, a way to do that would be with one of these section options. We could even go with benefits again. Um, if we're thinking outside the box, even though this template is called benefits, we could use it for whatever we want to, right? So we could say something like, these are our values and they might be things like, oh, we're customer first and maybe we're results driven and we have, um, we're inclusive and we, we value diversity and we really wanna uh, promote these values uh, together. Again, kind of choosing any icons that I want to include like a, you know, award that we get from our customers or, you know, maybe a graph for results driven and, and so on from there. So you have a lot of space to be creative here with, with what you're adding in. Um, down below, of course, we've got our job section, which is always gonna be searchable and filterable. So it's a lot easier for candidates uh, to find the roles that they are most interested in and going to be applying for. Um, what I'd like to show you is a little bit of a preview of, of sort of how this all comes together. If I save the page and load over here into a preview, We haven't necessarily finished all of our setup, but we get to see what the candidate experience is here. So I'm looking at the desktop site right now, but everything's going to translate automatically over to tablet and to mobile. So you're doing setup one time, but it's going to be formatted correctly and look nice, whatever device a candidate is using. So we can scroll through some of the tablet experience here. We see the perks we added in, a little bit about our values, the job form again. Uh, if we take a look at a more final version, I have another one loaded up here um, where we've built it out a little bit more, but same idea. We've highlighted some values. 
we've included like a numbers section here to speak to, you know, where is our company right now? How many employees do we have? How are we doing as a business? Things like that. There is a testimonial section that we've built out here with photos of our employees with quote quotes that we've included as well. Images, we've built things out by department. So you can click right on maybe commercial if those are the jobs that you're looking for. It's gonna bring you right to that list of jobs. It's gonna filter it for you automatically. So really easy to find what, uh, as a candidate, what jobs are most relevant to you. So that's a little bit of a sneak peek here. Again, you know, a lot of different uh, section options and different tools built in there uh, to help you get started and really build your career page out as that one source of truth uh, where candidates can go and learn more about what, uh, what is going on and why they should want to work for you. So I'll stop sharing now and why don't we move back to our presentation. So we've looked at um, that intuitive editor, right? That's sort of built into your account that you can use to start building out the page and you don't necessarily need to be uh, hiring an outside design team, let's say, or, or um, using those development resources to make the updates that you wanna make. You can go in anytime and change a paragraph around or add in more values or, or reorganize what you've got on your page. Um, there's a lot more going on in the background too that we didn't even look at. There are things you can do like have a custom domain set up for your page. Uh, normally uh, a site like this would be hosted at a workable link, but you can have it set up uh, under your own website. So that experience is all entirely under your brand. Uh, we've got a Google Analytics integration. So with a page like this, you can start doing more to track things like how long people are taking to fill out your application forms. Uh, how much of a page they're viewing, uh, how many of them bounce and leave and, and don't end up applying. Uh, so you get a lot more insight there. So yeah, ultimately, you know, we, we've built this as a tool to help your career pages convert uh, that web traffic more to boost your applications and get your brand out there and into the spotlight. Uh, just before we get into our Q&A portion, uh, one, one more quick poll. Uh, please go ahead and hit yes uh, if you'd like to sign up and get a more personalized demo of the advanced career page tool that we've looked at. Um, the, you'll be able to dive into a little bit more detail and get recommendations for, for tackling your more specific challenges or things that you're looking to update on the page. And let me see if I can get that poll set up for you. Here we go. So we launched it right now. It should be coming through. So yeah, give us a yes if you'd like uh, that type of demo. As mentioned, this is in beta right now. So it's a really good time to uh, give us some feedback uh, and shape more of the direction for what you'd like to see from this type of feature. Uh, so please go ahead, let us know. We'll run that poll for uh, maybe a few more seconds here to let everybody get their answer in. But yeah, absolutely. You can look for more changes coming up uh, in the near future as we make updates and edits. Uh, and please do let us know any feedback um, that you have or, or any changes or features that you're looking to see with this type of tool. So I'll go ahead and end the poll in a few more seconds. Um, if you didn't get a chance to answer, you can always contact support at workable.com as well. Uh, just let us know that you're interested and uh, we'll be able to hook you up and, and get in touch. All right. So let's get into the Q&A. We'll see what questions have been coming through. Looks like we've got one here to start with uh, for you, Lisa. Uh, so it looks like somebody's asking, how do you leverage your workable career site in conjunction with your company website? And how did you approach branding that page? Mm -hmm. So for us, uh, 
I mean, the, the branding, everything really that we're using is very much as was. Uh, we haven't changed any of that and that's still on brand. Uh, it, it's the content more that we've changed than anything and updated. Uh, the Weetabix is quite complicated in that we have about five different websites. <laughs> um, so we have our product website, we've got our corporate website, we have our international website. So it can get quite confusing. And I think another um, another concern for me was that actually our careers, Weetabix careers comes up uh, below on a Google search, it comes up even below products that are currently stocked in Tesco's. I think it's about six or seventh in the results. So for me, if somebody put in Weetabix rather than Weetabix careers or jobs at Weetabix, if somebody just put in Weetabix, they would land on the product page, which is the first result. And on the product page, there is no button there for careers. It talks about us, it talks about you know legal or get in touch with consumer services, talks about our products and any exciting updates, but there is nothing on there about careers. Um, so what the plan is when we go live with the Workable Careers site is we're going to add a careers button onto that first website so that somebody landing on that, that, that um, product website can just click on that careers button and it will be a link through to the Workable Careers microsite. And then on the other um, websites, we're going to do exactly the same. So just make sure that careers button is on there. Um, I, it may not be the same for your businesses. It might not be quite so complicated, but I think, you know, that was another factoring in making sure that we're absolutely, you know, getting that traffic that, that we need to be getting. Yeah, absolutely. And I, and I think what, what stands out to me a lot about your approach is that you've really thought through kind of the entire candidate journey, right? Not just, you know, we're, oh, we're gonna you know, post this job ad and get it out there and hope people click on it, but that, mm -hmm. you know, we're thinking about how they're yeah. Googling our company. Yeah. And how are they arriving yeah. at this page to begin with? And, and what does our presence look like on LinkedIn or, or in different communities where we have, you know, potential or prospective employees? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Uh, let me see here. We have a few more questions coming in. This is great. So let me see. Um, uh, a question about the, the company header that we were looking at in the editor, um, about the possibility of adding photos in the background. So absolutely. So we had uploaded a photo together that I had from our marketing team of those two employees working together. Um, as of right now, you've got that like solid background color that you can use, or you can upload uh, a photo to that type of section to have it included. Um, so yeah, a bit of customization. I'd like to reassure you that um, having done it myself, it's so super easy, really easy to do. Awesome. Um, let's see what else we have coming in here. So a question about, um, are, is this tool or advanced career pages live yet for all users? If not, when, when is this happening? So as mentioned, it is currently in beta. Um, if you didn't answer yes to that poll, but you're looking for a little bit more information or maybe to get added to the beta, uh, support at workable.com is probably going to be your best bet for getting a, a quick response and somebody will be able to help you out with that um, to try things out and, and take it for a little test drive. Um, Nick, I've seen a couple of questions asking, is it an overlay on the website? you know, a couple, uh, you know, or how that works with the existing careers website. And I think it's important that this will be your careers website. So whatever you've got, this will be what replaces your current careers website, but not your, if you're set up like us, you know, it's not going to replace your website itself, but the career section. Yeah, exactly. Like it's not necessarily taking over your entire website, but it is that kind of careers hub. Um, there was, I think, kind of a question along the same lines about setting up a custom domain. Um, by default, sort of out of the box with this, your, your advanced career page would appear at a workable link. So it would be like apply.workable.com slash your company name. Um, but you can have custom domains set up too. And so when I say custom domain, what I mean is it would be something more like, uh, maybe in your case, Lisa, it would be something like careers.weedavix.com. Yeah. So kind of under that, that main domain of your company that, that you own. Yeah. Okay. 
and let's see, just taking a look at a few more questions coming through. Um, a question here, are we gonna record this webinar and how is this gonna be shared? Yes, we do have a recording. So I, I think you'll be getting that via email uh, a little bit after we wrap up. So you can uh, run through things again or, or slow it down if you'd like to, to take more of a look. And let's see what else is coming in here. Um, how creative can you get with the sections to feature things like employee testimonials? Um, so really up to you with, with what you want to do there. Like we have that testimonial type of section where we were able to include things um, like the uh, photos of the employees and we, could, we included a few quotes there too. Um, while you're working from that type of template, you do have those other templates too. So you can kind of find one that's going to fit the best for your specific need. Um, well, we've designed something like the testimonial section to work really well with that type of format. Uh, as we saw, I wanted to include a value section and the, the template or the building block that I ended up using was a benefits type. So it, it's sort of up to you to be more creative with the options that are presented for adding in those different sections. Uh, we got a great one here for you, Lisa, about, um, let's see, what's the balance a company should strike between talking about itself on a career page in terms of like mission and values and its size mm -hmm. versus painting a picture of the challenges a team member has um, to, you know, take the opportunity to take on and solve and be rewarded when, when they become part of the team. Yeah. And, and uh, yeah, again, I think, you know, challenges are going to depend on what company you are, you know, what, what, what space you're operating in, I think your challenge is going to be different. I think for me, the employer brand and, and that happy, you know, kind of join us, that happy story, um, you want candidates, you know, to, to feel warm when they're reading your page. That sounds a bit cheesy, but, you know, you want them to be engaged. So, um, you know, but equally with our career stories, we do talk about challenges you know at the moment we're talking about challenges with COVID and how that's impacted our manufacturing operations and how none of us have been in the office since March and what we've done to adapt you know um, so we do have that element of you know this will challenge you in this particular area for this and it you know um, but I, I do think you know for me personally that that you know that what they see on that careers page should really be a positive happy engaging, you know, come work for a story. But within that, you know, you can talk more about your challenges within that. Yeah, absolutely. It sounds like there's, there can be kind of a, an even balance there between, yeah. um, you know, talking up the company and maybe sharing things like those, yeah. those results that you, you've yeah. been getting or the, or the growth that you've seen versus, you know, as an individual contributor, kind of this is what you can expect and these are the, the challenges you face and how you can grow. Yeah, I, I love that somebody has uh, actually searched for the WeSpeak career page and it took them three searches to find it. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> well, excited to see how things go when the, the new page launches for sure. Yeah. So I think that might do it for our Q&A for now. If you have anything last minute to throw into the chat, uh, hopefully your moderator team can help you out. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that's gonna wrap us up for today. And I'm quite happy if anyone wants to reach out to me. Um, I don't have the product knowledge that Nick has, but you know, I'm quite happy for you to reach out to me if you have any questions about what we're doing. Awesome. And thank you so much, Lisa, for joining us today. It was really great to That's talk okay. with you. You're very welcome. So that'll be us signing off for today. Again, support at workable.com if you need anything else in the future. Uh, and thank you all for tuning in. Keep an eye out for the recording in your email. Uh, and we'll see you next time. Take care.